Justin is one of my favorite characters in all of Total Drama. His appearance and action created a much needed antagonist in a season with character derailment and rigged eliminations. Overall, Justin is an amazing character and it's such a shame he finished his entire arc in action considering how much potential this character had. As you can probably guess, Total Drama Action Justin is the version of Justin that is needed here as he is much more methodical and expressive than Island Justin who doesn't even utter a word in the episode he's eliminated in. First three episodes are not important in any way, shape, or form due to how little Justin would care about the people being eliminated. And Justin would not want to converse with Noah here as this is standard Island Noah and not World Tour Noah. So the real change occurs in episode 5 where he still competes and doesn't get a great score but Justin will be less aloof than in canon and actually pays attention to Heather's moves and realizes that she's a big target here so Heather will probably try to get some votes on someone else as a result. Justin has no way of knowing he's the target here unless he questions people and instead decides to go to Gwen and Trent to form a group to vote off Heather and Justin is able to bring in Lashana and Owen so I feel like Lashana would do it anyway. Now we could probably put Lindsay here as well as it is shown that Lindsay falters to Justin until the later half of action. So Lindsay, Gwen, Trent, Justin, Lashana, and Owen all vote Heather in a surprise elimination of Heather. And Heather yells at Lindsay and Beth saying they are both traitors. Episode 6 I think goes exactly the same but with a bit more chatter between Trent and Justin as Justin asks Trent why he hasn't made a move on Gwen yet since he obviously has feelings for her. Katie still gets eliminated. Episode 7 and Justin wouldn't do particularly good in his fear challenge. We see how he gets with the slightest change to his looks, so I doubt that he would be able to last a full day without his normal self being present. Screaming Gophers still win in the end and Tyler is eliminated once again. Episode 8 and Justin is able to charm the bear and the bear leaves, making Justin almost like a hero to the Gophers. Screaming Gophers still lose and Izzy still leaves though. Justin makes some moves with Beth and Lindsay and get them in an alliance with him. Episode 9 and Screaming Gophers still lose even without Heather being here to mess things up. Though Beth has some good opportunities for shots and Killer Bass not being extraordinarily talented, I think DJ alone can win this challenge for them. Current targets are both Justin and Owen. Justin for being mostly pathetic as a deer and giving up so he didn't get shot, and Owen for wasting his time chasing only one deer. Ultimately, Trent blindsides Gwen and doesn't vote Justin out only because he likes him more than Owen. Episode 10 and Justin is nominated as head chef from Beth and Lindsay, though he knows nothing about this and tells the group to do whatever they feel will help them win the challenge. Now in canon, Lashana wants to make a special appetizer, but Heather vetoes it. In this version, Justin will give full creative control so they will make what they want to make. The teams are Beth and Lindsay, Trent and Gwen, and finally Lashana and Cody. I honestly think Screaming Gophers can possibly win this because of Lashana's appetizer, which will even out the score better than in canon. Heather honestly loses this challenge for the Screaming Gophers, so without her there, there is a clear chance they win. Let's just say that Screaming Gophers are able to win here, proving Beth's Boney Island curse to be nothing more than a hoax. Because of the Killer Bass losing, I think they'd want to vote Harold out, but Duncan is able to convince the guys to keep him one more week for some fun, and they decide to instead vote out Sadie. DJ still loses the challenge for the Killer Bass in episode 11, and unlike in canon where Courtney is able to convince them to vote out Sadie, Harold would have perfect accuracy to knock the apple off Courtney's head, and so DJ has no real security blanket here, as Bridget points out that DJ did lose the challenge for them. Jeff reluctantly agrees to vote him, with Courtney doing so as well to spare Harold another week. Screaming Gophers are able to win episode 12 like in canon, and unlike in canon, Harold would rig the vote against Duncan as he doesn't want to get rid of Courtney while she was one of the reasons he's still here. Episode 13, and unlike in canon, Harold wins it for the killer bass, and out of everyone here, I think Cody gets eliminated here as he would probably mess something up for them. Eva and Izzy come back for merge, and Eva is eliminated first just like in canon. I don't know how I always end up with four new people in Merge, but things won't change for episode 16 where Heather's key has a chance to be obtained by one of the new players. The numbers are 1 for Beth, 2 for Courtney, 3 for Harold, and 4 for Justin, and it is 1, so Beth obtains the immunity here. Justin gets Beth, Lindsay, Gwen, Trent, Harold to vote for Jeff, as Jeff is probably the biggest threat here according to him. Episode 17, and I think Lashana still gets immunity with Justin being able to use either Beth or Lindsay to obtain immunity as well. Justin goes to Beth, Lindsay, Harold, and Courtney and tells them that they should vote off Gwen since she and Trent are a powerful alliance that will make it too far to stop if they let them get any farther. As a result, Gwen is eliminated. 
As you can probably guess, Justin is splitting up the current alliances for his own benefit here. Ironically enough, the three guys remaining get along really well, and Courtney is able to pick up on this with Lashana picking up on it as well. Episode 18, and I think Harold is able to win with Courtney making it second, but that's when she's told she is eliminated and she goes into the tantrum you'd expect from Courtney. Episode 19, and we have a big problem here. There's no Gwen to stop the chainsaw wielding killer with a hook for a hand, but I think Justin would be able to use his looks to stop him long enough for Chef to apprehend him. Justin gets immunity as a result, and Lindsay gets eliminated as she had the least impressive death here, with Justin telling her that he's gonna miss her and the island was gonna be a lot less beautiful now without her. Episode 20, and Izzy is once again eliminated here, as Izzy is able to see through Justin completely, which is a threat to Justin. In episode 21, the teams would be Beth and Justin, Bridget and Harold, and finally Lashana and Trent. I think Beth would be too distracted by Justin to really help in the first and second challenge, but in the final challenge, Justin would say that if she won the challenge for them, that he would take off a shirt for her, which makes her assemble the totem as fast as she could, giving them immunity. Justin would get Harold, Trent, and Beth to vote Lashana off, as she is the strongest member currently, as well as the fact that she is aware of Harold's relationship with Lashana. Harold inevitably agrees just to keep himself alive here. Episode 22, and I think Duncan would say that Harold needs to go since he rigged the vote against him, but Jeff says he misses Bridget, and that causes the chain reaction of Bridget being voted against. Episode 24, and the groups would be Justin and Trent, and Harold and Beth. Justin and Trent would begin talking, and eventually Trent would realize that Justin is responsible for Gwen going home, and gets angry, asking why he would do that, to which Justin responds by saying that he couldn't risk them getting even stronger together, and he did the same thing to Lashana and Jeff. Trent realizes he was just a pawn in the game, and he tries his best to get immunity, but Justin throws the challenge so they can vote Trent off. Back at the camp, Justin attempts to talk to Harold, but Chef interrupts them, giving immunity to Beth and Harold, and before he he can vote Justin off. Justin makes his case to Chef, which is just him showing his body off, and Chef just says, There's too many ugly people. Trent, you're out. Trent is shocked and tells Harold that he's the last hope here. Harold doesn't understand what he means. Episode 25, and normally Justin wouldn't be able to win here, as he doesn't do many disgusting or harmful things to himself, but while Beth is doing her challenge, Justin takes his shirt off and calls to Beth, which Beth gets distracted and fails her challenge, eliminating her. At her elimination, Justin gives her a shirt and says that she was an excellent teammate. In the finale, Justin is able to shimmy up the pole faster than Harold, is able to use his looks for safe passage from one side of the cliff to the other, and finally is able to beat Harold in a foot race to the end, with Harold being an alternate winner of the season. Trent sitting out a rock for Justin to trip over, and in the alternate ending, Justin looks back at Harold and gloats about how he played the perfect game before tripping over the rock and getting a black eye, allowing Harold to win. But in the regular ending, he would still say how he played the perfect game before leaping over the rock Trent placed and achieving victory. With that being said, this is one way Justin can win Total Drama Island. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments to make the day yours, and I'll see you all again real soon with our next contestant, Katie.